CBS 58's Laura Rodriguez live at the courthouse tonight with more on these new developments. Laura. Paul, that's right. Well, today we heard testimony from neighbors, the victim's mother, the victim's brother. We also heard testimony from police officers and detectives who were on the scene the day of the shooting. But the most emotional part of the trial by far today was when prosecutors played surveillance video of John Spooner shooting 13-year-old Darius Simmons to death. The courtroom immediately became silent and Darius Simmons' mother glanced down the entire time, nodding her head so she wouldn't have to see that video. Other family members were in tears, especially when the clip of the shooting was played for a second time. John Spooner also watched and was sitting right in front of the screen. Another emotional moment was when Darius's mother, Patricia Larry, took the stand. Larry said she remembers seeing Spooner approach her son as he was taking out the garbage on the morning of May 31st, 2012. She testified that her son then put his hands up because Spooner asked him to, and she then called 911. He told Darius that he gonna teach him not to steal. That he's going to teach him not to steal? Yes. And what happened then? He shot him. I checked for a pulse. Did you find Darius uh, with a pulse? No. I checked both his wrists to see that he had a pulse. And he didn't have a pulse. And then when his wrist, so I went to his neck. I pulled his shirt up. Tensions also ran high when defense attorney Frank Gimbel cross-examined Darius Simmons' mother. Gimbel asked Larry why she never told authorities that Spooner said, I want to teach him not to steal. Larry then responded that she informed her lawyer about what Spooner said that day, and this response caused an argument about attorney-client privilege between the prosecution and also between the defense. Now, a video of Spooner's interrogation was shown at the end of the trial today. Now, in that video, Spooner admits to shooting 13-year-old Darius Simmons, and he said it was because he wanted his shotguns back. And as for that surveillance video of the shooting that I mentioned earlier during this live shot, we're taking a closer look at that to see if it's too graphic to show on air, but we'll have the latest tonight. At 10. We are reporting live outside Milwaukee's safety building. Laura Rodriguez, CBS 58 News. All right.